the ten plagues of Egypt. Number one, the water turned into blood. So this is what the Lord says, In this way, you will know that I am the Lord. Look, I will hit the water in the Nile River with a stick that is in my hand. Then the water will become blood. The fish in the river will die, and the river will have a very bad smell. Then the Egyptians will not be able to drink the water from the Nile River. Exodus 7, 17 to 18. Number 2. Plague of Frogs And the Lord spoke to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all your territory with frogs. So the rivers shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into your house, into your bedroom, on your bed, to the house of your servants, on your people, to your ovens, and into your kidding bowels, and the frog shall come up on you, and your people, and all your servants. Exodus 8, 1-4 Number 3, Plague of Lies so the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Street out your rod, and strike the dust of the land, so that it may become lies throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so. For Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and struck the dust of the earth, and it became lies on man and beast. All the dust of the land became lies throughout all the land of Egypt. Exodus 8, 16-17 Number 4. Plague of Flies Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Or else, if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies on you, and your servants, and your people, and into your houses. The houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the ground on which they stand. And in that day, I will set apart the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there, in order that you may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the land. Exodus 8, 22. Number 5. Plagues of Livestock Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and still hold them, behold, the hand of the Lord will be on your cattle in the field on the horses, on the donkeys, on the camels, on the oxen, and on the sheep, a very severe pestilence, and the Lord will make difference between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt. Exodus 9, 1-4 Number 6, Plague of Boils So the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take for yourself handful of ashes from a furnace, and let Moses scatter it toward the heavens in the sight of Pharaoh, and it will become fine dust in all the land of Egypt, and it will cause boils that breaks out in sores on man and beast throughout all the land of Egypt. Exodus 9, 8-9 Number 7, Plague of Hell Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, on man, on beast, and on every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched out his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and fire darted to the ground, and the Lord rained hail on the land of Egypt. Exodus 9, 22 and 23. Number 8. Plague of Locust. If you refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow I will bring locusts into your territory, and they shall cover the face of the earth, so that no one will be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of what is left, which remain to you from the hail, and they shall eat every tree which grows up for you out of the field. Exodus 10, verse 4 to 5. Number 9. Plague of Darkness Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, 
darkness which may even be felt, so Moses stretched out his hand toward heaven, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. Exodus 10, verse 20, 22. Number 10, Death of the Firstborn. Then Moses said, Thus says the Lord, About midnight I will go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the female servant who is behind the hand meal, and all the firstborn of the animals. Then there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as was not like it before, nor was shall be like it again. But again, but against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue against the manner of beast, that you may know that the Lord has made a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. My God is awesome.